If you are looking to start a handmade business and you know that the first place to list your products is Etsy, but you don't know how to list a product or sell a product on Etsy, watch this video and watch it all the way through. Because in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to start a merchant account on Etsy and how to list your very first product and start selling. or afternoon everybody welcome back to my channel and if you haven't seen my face before hi my name is Kanoi and I make videos on business spirituality and lifestyle tips to help you learn earn and grow if you're interested in this kind of content don't forget to follow me on my socials right here go ahead and hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the post notifications so you won't miss any future uploads from me before we get started here's today's shout out and if you want more information on how to get a shout out, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of this video. I have been receiving questions about taxes, especially when it has to do with listing products on Etsy. And I am going to say flat out that I'm not a CPA. Please go to a professional if you want to learn more about your exact estimates for your capital up front and your taxes when it comes to starting a handmade business. And before I go ahead and hop on my computer and show you guys step by step on how to create your first product listing, you need to keep these things in mind before you get started. And let me go ahead and address them with you. So first you're going to need an email. It doesn't have to be a business email, although I do recommend you guys get one that says, you know, info at yourbusiness.com. You starting your first handmade business, you do not need to have a fancy email and a fancy website to be able to start selling. Um, especially if you don't have your LLC established yet, just get a regular Gmail and that will be perfectly fine, especially when creating your account on Etsy. And you are going to need your products made and you're going to need to know how much you spent on the resources to be able to make the products that you make and be able to price your products correctly. Now, I will go ahead and make a separate video on that. I'm not going to go too in depth on that right now because I'm just teaching you how to list your products first. A tip is to always calculate and know where your money is going to all of these different resources that you get for your products. Last thing before you head into my computer and I teach you guys step by step on how to do this, you need to know a little bit about Etsy's fees and taxes and all of these things okay so for etsy in order to list an item you need to pay 20 cents per listing on etsy so just make sure you have that extra 20 cents to be able to actually list your item on etsy because it will be like a reoccurring thing every month to be able to renew your listing and Etsy also charges 5% of your sale price when you sell your product. So not only do they charge the 20 cents uh, to be able to list your product, but once it's sold to a customer, they take 5% of that. So just keep that in mind when you're pricing your products on Etsy. And since you are an independent contractor, guys, do your taxes, do your taxes. I've heard horror stories about people taking all of their money out of their business and then at the end of the year they are faced with a buttload of money that they have to pay their government so what i usually do and disclaimer again i'm not a certified cpa every month you calculate how much you got and you take 30 percent out of that and set it aside for taxes at the end of the year now this is what i do okay i'm not a certified cpa I don't know the details in anything, so make sure that you go to a certified professional to be able to confirm that. Etsy ads, don't do them. Don't spend money on Etsy ads, they are not worth it. Um, I don't think Etsy is developed enough for you to put your product in front of the customer that wants to buy it. They usually just throw products in the air and hope that they get sales for you, so I highly recommend that you do not get etsy ads 
don't waste your money on that. And if you do decide to put money into Etsy ads, it's a reoccurring payment every month. And if you don't make any sales off of those ads, that's just money to them and you don't get anything out of it. So just don't do the Etsy ads, okay? And they also offer a subscription fee for you to create your own website. I tried that, not good, I don't like it. It's $10 a month, don't do it. Just do your Etsy account because a lot of people are gonna be looking on Etsy anyways. And they also have offsite ad, ad fees. I haven't tried that out yet, but I wouldn't. I would personally just run my ads on Pinterest for my business, which is what I've uh, usually done in the past to make my revenue. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and hop on my computer and I'll go ahead and teach you guys how to list a product on Etsy as well as create your account so that you are ready to start selling. On Etsy.com, you are going to go to the bottom of the page where it says sell on Etsy. So keep in mind, I'm gonna be using my own email to create this Etsy account, okay? They literally put the fees right in your face um, when you create your Etsy account because they don't want you to be surprised when you get charged what you get charged. So as long as you can keep in mind all of these fees when you do start selling things, just make sure that you're able to make profit. So with that being said, when you scroll down a little bit, you're going to click on open your Etsy shop and this is where you're going to be adding your email. Like I said before, you don't need to add your own business email if you can't afford it. You don't need to have info at yourbusiness.com. Uh, when I started, I just used my own business email, which was slimegenics at gmail.com. You can go ahead and create your own and it's completely free on Google. So let me just go ahead and sign in with my email. And then it will automatically take you to your own little mini dashboard and you have your own account now. So now that you have your account created, you have your own profile, all of these things, you're going to scroll back down to open your Etsy shop. And this is where you are going to create your own little mini shop on Etsy, okay guys? So for your shop preferences, mine is obviously English. I live in the USA and I'm using the dollar as my currency. So this little section right here just gives Etsy an idea of what you want your business to be, how much time you're gonna be able to put into your business. So if you wanna sell part-time or you want to sell part-time and then sell full-time or you do this full-time, I'm gonna save and continue. And this is where you're going to enter your shop name. Now, of course, if I type in my business name, if I can spell it, it's not going to be available because I already have my shop still up, but it's not like available anymore because I'm starting my own website. But you need to be able to type in your shop and it needs to be available and it gives you all of these different options to create your shop name if that name isn't available but I'm just going to put my YouTube channel name and see if it's available yep it's available so let's continue this is where you're going to start your first ever listing okay so you're gonna click on add a listing and this is gonna be the board that you're going to see a lot especially when you want to add new products so the first thing you're gonna look at is your photos you're gonna click on add a photo and I already have my sample listing photo right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that don't be nervous if your photo has this little exclamation point on it if you want your picture to be emphasized like this I suggest you leave it but if you want to adjust it and you don't like that you can go ahead and just crop it and then we're gonna go ahead and move down to video. A lot of people wanna see the product in action before they buy it. With that being said, make sure that you compress your video to 100 megabytes and then you can add it right here if you have a file on hand. Moving down to listing details, this is what they're going to be seeing on their end of your shop. So the title is obviously going to be what your 
product name is. So as you can see, these are a few product names that I've had in the past. Um, some of these items are still what I'm selling, but this is just gonna be where you're gonna put your title of your product. And as you can see on the side, it says include keywords that buyers would use to search for your item. That is a key thing that I wanna teach you guys today. So in your title listing, if you go on Etsy, right? And let's say I'm looking for slime. This is what pops up, okay? And this is what we're gonna use later. But go ahead and look at this best-selling slime. It says Santa's Magic Key Christmas Slime Scented Slime Raspberry Slime Coke Popular Slime Shops ASMR Christmas Gift. Ooh! So these are keywords that their audience is looking for. So if they're looking for Christmas gifts, this slime is going to pop up as a Christmas gift. So I'm going to go back to my listing and I'm just going to give some details on my slime. You can also add Christmas gift if you want. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have every single detail about your product for it to search well in the Etsy algorithm. We're gonna move on to about this listing. I obviously made it, it is a handmade item. It is a finished product on my end. If you want, you can also sell, like for example, since this is a slime, I can sell clay or I can sell glue on Etsy for people to be able to make their own slime. But since this is a finished product, I'm going to put that. This just means that you want people to be able to customize their products and I don't recommend that on Etsy unless you have like customizable options. But I usually just put the year that I made it, which is extremely recently. This area also plays a big role in your search for your product and since this is slime and foam boom I just click on that and then it gives me a few other options the more information that you put into your listing the better it's going to reach your target audience renewal options this is for your listing itself now they say that they charge a 20 cent fee for your listing so make sure that you keep that in mind when you're selling your products automatic just means that every time your listing expires which is i believe every month they will charge you 20 cents to renew it so if you're only selling this product let's say it's a christmas product you're only selling it for this month you can go ahead and just make it manual and when the listing expires um it won't be posted on etsy and then you can just delete the listing yourself but if you know that you're going to be selling it reoccurringly you want to make sure that it's automatic now you can choose if it's a physical or digital product <laughs> and mine's is physical and the description is where you're obviously going to enter all of your keywords describing what your product is how it works ingredients and packaging information all of these things are usually what I include in my product description along with keywords that are going to help me insert. Now moving on to tags. This is where you're going to be able to boost your product more for people to be able to see it. So we're going to search for slime. As you can see, these are all different keywords that have to do with what people are searching for. So slime shops is the top one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put slime shops, slime mystery box, and slime kit. So make sure you utilize all eight, but this is just an example of what I use for my keywords because I know that if I type that into the search box, this is what's popping up and this is what's popping in the Etsy marketplace when people are trying to search for your product. And this is also optional if you want to add what you put in, but since I added it in here, I don't really use this section. And moving on to inventory and pricing, you are just going to be able to price your products. So I usually charge $12.99 for my slimes because they are 8 ounces. But make sure that you calculate your product to Etsy. So keeping in mind all of Etsy's fees, the taxes, everything like that, make sure you have a good price and variations is basically if you have a different color that you want to add different sizes materials that you use you can go ahead and add that in the variation section shipping is a big thing on etsy a lot of people are looking for free shipping items as you can see in my search box slime free shipping is a keyword in there so you want to be able to boost your prices 
for your shipping a lot of people are more likely to buy items that have free shipping so just make sure you up your price if you don't want to pay for shipping you can have etsy calculate it for you or you can enter your prices manually and my processing time for my slimes is usually one to three business days and for shipping if you do ship worldwide you can leave this checked everything checked and then your shipping services these are the third party services that are going to charge you for them to be able to ship it so usps priority and usps priority mail express these two especially this one these are the ones that i usually use and if you are shipping internationally you can keep these checked and i always add free domestic shipping free international shipping if you have enough money and if your product is that expensive for you to be able to ship free internationally go for it because you can select both options but I only ship free domestic okay you can also add a handling fee so let's say it takes you a long time to make your product so you want to charge that extra fee and then you're obviously going to put how much your product weighs what the item packaging is in the end this is how much you're charging for shipping how much your price is and then this is just an example of how much it's going to cost to ship it save and continue and now boom we have our first ever etsy listing now we're going to save and continue and this is how you're going to get paid you're just going to go ahead and enter all of your information if you're a sole proprietor if you don't have an llc just keep this checked if you do you can go ahead and press this and enter your information but i'm just gonna put individual so now that i have all of my personal information logged in below on my payment method um, my address all of these things i'm gonna press save and continue so after you confirm it it's going to show how much you're going to be charged right now which is 20 cents you're going to go ahead and enter your card information and your address and then you're going to click open your shop and now your shop is open for business and boom you have your first ever listing on etsy all right guys, so that concludes today's video on how to create a listing on Etsy. I hope that this video was helpful for you and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or ideas for future uploads, go ahead and leave them in the comments below in order to be featured in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I will go ahead and see you guys next time.